Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, you know, it's a couple of weeks ago, I had this uh, video recommendation from Japan and it's posted by Hero Sans TV. So, basically, he made a rig, it's called the um, Inno Rig, and basically, it, it gives your worm more um, action in the water. So, it wiggles more and it's, it has more action underwater. So, so today's video, I'm gonna show you how to rig the inner rig rig. Okay, let's get started. So basically, uh, to make the inner rig rig is you need a fishing line, super glue, and a tubing, and of course your worm. Okay? So in this video, I'll be using a Q-tip because this Q-tip has um. tubing and a split ring right here okay so first what you do is you get your worm then your tubing about a millimeter or two find the center and then about 30 degrees tilt the tubing about 30 degrees Okay. then poke it through then you'll have something like this okay. then at the middle of the worm like to poke it through again okay so just like that Then, at the other end of the worm, pull it through. So basically, after you're done, okay, so when you're done, you make the letter S. Then the tail side, you just poke it out. Then you get your super glue. Then at the tip of that um, the tubing, just put a little dab of uh, super glue. too much and then then you slide the worm towards that uh, tip okay <clears throat> once you're done that find the middle tubing and then put a dab of super glue again for the head of the worm then like before you slide the worm towards the super glue okay just like that then what you do is you take your scissors then you trim the tubing as close as possible to the worm okay. so you'll have something like that then the rest just trim Like I said, you'll have something like this. Okay. Then. I'll be using a 
15 pound floral I usually cut like a, a foot and a half so once you have your leader leader line what I like to do is take the split ring and then just tie a simple clinch knot cut the tag end yeah. so just like that make sure it's straight then you take the other side of the leader line now so our worm was like this right so basically find the hole at the end of the at the tail of your worm so then put your poke your line through so just like that then at the middle then the head of the worm just like that now get a hook then the eye of the hook you have to align it with the the tubing so basically just like that okay. so you can do is t take the tag end of the leader line put it through the back of the hook and then slide the hook then And there you go. Okay, so let's do that again. One more time. Okay, here's our worm. And we'll use this tubing. So first, find the center of your worm. Then about 30 degrees. Poke it through, just like that. And then the middle. Okay. And then at the at the tail of the worm. poke it through and then at the end you should have a letter S like that and then un poke the tail and get your super glue put a little dab Then the middle of the between the body and the head, put a little bit, bit of super glue. Then again, slide the head of the worm towards the super glue. 
foot. You can let it dry or just trim the excess tubing. Just like that. Yeah. Again, cut about one foot and a half of fishing line. I did run out of um, split ring. So, I'll be using a Focuses. I'll be using a bead. Now how how I do this is I'll be tying it with the polymer knot. Trim the tag end and then make sure that it's it's straight. Again, take the other side of the tag end and let the tail part and poke it through the last hole they made. Okay, so just like that. Now I actually like this better with the bead because it, it still locks it in and it's a, it has a smaller profile. Then take a hook. Put the line through the back of the hook. Then again align the eye of the hook. There we have it. So with this rig you can actually put a... Um, okay, with this rig you can actually put two hooks and one worm. So remember, there's one on the head. And then, what you do is when you have your line, take the first hook and then thread it through the front of the hook. So just like that. Then take your worm, like before, find the hole near the tail and then thread it through. Then, before, middle, then the head. Okay, so it goes like that. Now, the hook that's near the tail. Put it through the tail. Okay. 
and it'll have something like that. Or if you don't want to use a bead, you can also use a bead um, without the bead. Just tie it with a simple clinch knot or whatever you want to choose. Polymer knot. It's okay. Basically, take your hook, then just tie a sim simple clinch knot. One, two. Got the tag end, get your worm, find the tail, get the tag end, the other side of the main, uh, the leader, then find the hole and put it through. If you want, you can do this first. Just remember to align the eye of the hook and take the other tag end body and then the head and then get your other hook okay make sure to go through the back of the eye of the hook and pull then, same as with the tail, just poke it through, like that, and then align the eye with the tubing. And just like that. 